Yo, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. We're back with some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news content and updates for you guys. And today we have basically sort of a speculation sort of thing here. Just stick with me here and you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. But we may or may not have some official confirmation in regards to OG Dragon Ball being added to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I'm not going to keep you guys here for too long, but if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe. Ring that notification bell if you want to be updated with anything Dragon Ball related. And getting into it right away, this is going to be exciting. If you guys don't know, the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero series or the Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi series is a series that is highly known for its massive character roster. And with the amount of characters that this game has been shaping up for itself, it is lining up to be the biggest character roster in any anime game that's ever been released. Coming with characters from OG Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball GT, and a lot of the non-canon movies as well. Despite by all of this though, it was recently confirmed by Sean Schemmel, who is the voice actor for Goku, that he has recorded voice lines for Super Saiyan 4 Goku being added to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. However, it's important to take into account that we don't know whether or not this is going to be included in the base game of Sparking Zero or if this is just going to be included as a future DLC. We're just going to have to wait and see about that. As of right now, the only thing that we do have confirmed for future DLC when it comes to Sparky Zero is Dragon Ball Daima and Dragon Ball Super Superhero. But taking all of that into consideration with Sean Schemmel actually confirming this, I'll actually roll a clip right here of when he actually confirmed Super Saiyan 4 Goku being added to the game. Um, but the tricky part, and I gotta give Damon Mills some credit here because he's been directing me on this last game we've been working on. And uh, keeping track of, you know, I didn't realize that subtly changing the voice for every single form was gonna bite me in the ass later. And so keeping track of all that for like Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 3, God mode red here, God mode, and it's all real subtle, different things, you know? And so Damon has just been on top of just keeping all my references, everything in line, going through, making sure everything's right, um, really nitpicking it. It's a very challenging thing to do, but it's easy to solve as long as you keep vocal references around. This did bring me back to a leak that was basically announced by another voice actor over a year ago now, and it's something that I do want to bring up again because I think it's something that a lot of people have forgotten about. And that's from the voice actor of Sonny Straight who voices Krillin in Dragon Ball Z. And in a video he releases on TikTok, he does confirm that there's three distinct characters that he does play or have a role in when it comes to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I just got through recording a video game. Uh, a lot of screaming. Uh, can't tell you the video game, obviously, but I played three very distinct characters, and my voice is shot. But I loved every second of it. The first character would obviously be Krillin, and the second character now is obviously Bardock, which is already confirmed for the game. However, the third character that we see Sonny straight voice within any character in the Dragon Ball franchise would be General Blue in OG Dragon Ball. General Blue is not shown in Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, or Dragon Ball Super. If General Blue at is added for this game, this would be passively confirming the entire OG Dragon Ball roster for Dragon Ball. Ball Sparking Zero. And by OG Dragon Ball character roster, I'm talking about Kid Goku, Arale, Demon King Piccolo, Great Ape Kid Goku, characters like that. Considering that the OG Dragon Ball roster did have a significant impact to the Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi series stories as the game was progressing over time. But I digress, this is passively confirming more or less that we will be getting a OG Dragon Ball portion of the roster incorporated into Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, as well as GT being confirmed for the game considering how Sean Schemmel has confirmed that he has recorded voice lines for Super Saiyan 4 Goku being within the game. Now, I want everybody to keep in mind that if this is true, Sony straight confirming that he's recorded all of these voice lines for these three distinct characters being within the game, it is more than likely considering the timing on when he recorded these recordings for the game, it is probably likely that we will be getting OG Dragon Ball incorporated into the base portion of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It would be very weird and very random for them to record voice lines so early for characters that they aren't even planning to incorporate 
in DLCs anytime soon, considering the fact that the only characters that we do have to look forward to for DLCs before any other DLC like a GT or OG Dragon Ball would be Dragon Ball Daima and Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. Please take all of this with a grain of salt. Again, nothing is confirmed. This is merely my own speculation based off of what has been put out there by the official people that have been working on this game behind the scenes. But again, there is no reason for me to doubt based off of what Sonny Street has said by himself that there will not be OG Dragon Ball within Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I'm not entirely sure the consistency of OG Dragon Ball compared to a Budokai Tenkaichi 3 game. I'm not sure if we're going to be getting a Tambourine or a Devilman or even a Kid Chi Chi incorporated in the game. If we do get OG Dragon Ball, we may be very limited in the characters that we are getting from that specific series. Either way, do I personally think that we will be getting OG Dragon Ball in Sparking Zero? Yes. Yes, do I think we are going to be getting a massive roster for OG Dragon Ball? I would probably have to say no. But either way, I could be wrong about both of these things. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Now, me personally, I would want OG Dragon Ball incorporated into the story much more than I would want a GT or anything like that, just because of how much of a massive fan I am with OG Dragon Ball. But hey, it could be different for all of you guys, so make sure you guys do leave your opinions down in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you want to be updated with anything Sparking Zero related, make sure you ring that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.